Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more. All your trade are belong to us in Europa Universalis 4. 34.5% to go. 34... 34.5, just making sure. 34, I just needed the subtraction, the math. Math, math. Okay, so um, we are continuing to expand. We are also looking at... We need to start protecting trade and collecting from trade in the English Channel and beating that dude. Right now we're at 37% control. Um, let's just make sure nothing squirrely has happened. Nope, my last achievement was still the Italian ambition. Cool. I had heard that you don't actually need to have 300 ducats a month in income to achieve it, so... Uh, no. Uh, yeah, sure you can. I guess why not. <clears throat> so, we're going to continue to attack the, uh, the wrong religion people so that we can try to convert them. And eventually I'm going to... You know, I probably don't need to expand in this direction at all, do I? I mean, expanding in this area to an area where we can actually get some more trade power could be nice, but um, other than that, you know, France is friendly right now. We could just be friends. There's always that. Continue to eat up on Castile. Didn't I rival France? Yeah, why are you friendly? Why would you accept an alliance with me while I'm your rival? It just seems kind of silly. I guess they just really don't want me to be their enemy, do they? This guy's proving to be a little bit opportunistic, isn't he? We're going to need to do something to keep power projection up. Hmm. Let's see. So in this case, I think we do want to just tech up. Nice. Alright, so we're trying to make Austria like us. This is a good thing I gave him military access, huh? Still improving relations, yes. There's still room to go. Okay, so we're going to win this war, and then do our conversions, and then probably just declare war on the next person that's adjacent. Just keep on doing the same thing. The only thing that would make this even easier would be if we actually had uh, minus core creation costs. Logically, if I were to get to tech 17, we could reduce costs, but that's that's a lot of technology levels to have to pay for just to get a small reduction in administrative cost. No, I can probably end this faster by just um, continuing to attack whoever. You are allied with all South Colonna Memmingen, people that don't matter. That is in the Genoa node, so I wouldn't mind taking it. If we were to attack you, we'd have to fight Bohemia. Income's decent. Could be better. I do think I might get rid of some of these forts. I'm starting to feel like you know when they first when it first came out and you always, you know, you could have like three or four forts and you'd have army tradition from it. It always felt pretty good, but now... Um, I don't know, I, I just feel like forts are kind of... unnecessary. You know, on the one hand I like having a couple on the border. Like these four are probably good. Five if you count that one there. Like this one I think we'll ditch. Um, for now, while we're at war with these guys, we'll keep those. We'll keep the one over here, sure. But anything that we end up with down here, we're just going to delete them. Looks like there aren't any anyway. And Great Britain just lost a war.
Not a bad price. France no longer considers Austria. They finally decided that they're not going to be friendly. Well, that's probably in their best interest. Alright, manpower reserves needs to recover. Conquer Memingen. This is not in the right node. Conquer Rousselon, France. That would be that one. Do we want to fight France? France on tech 17 to our tech 18. France allied with Portugal, Naples, Netherlands. Me with no friends at all. Portugal wouldn't protect them right now, though. I feel like my army's pretty spread thin. Actually, I feel like it's all, all in Africa. I'm pretty sure it all is. It's a lot of galleys. Okay, so we want distant overseas land that we can core and convert easily. I clicked too fast and I didn't even get a chance to read that. Manpower recovery would be really nice right now. If we could just have a nice easy war that gives us um, inspiring victory. Which one would be easier? Well, there really only is one. Well, they're the same, but France would be harder. So if we attack Mimingen, and we fight in Bavaria, Switzerland, we have to fight the Emperor as well. They're a free city. Fighting Bohemia, I mean, that's a 50 stack with a 643 general. That doesn't look fun. What kind of truces do we have with Castile and Portugal? It's interesting, like, Castilian and Louisiana is still on there. And yet, I'm not seeing anything with these guys. So I guess that we did the guarantee trick or whatever on them. So that's probably the next war we need to do. I don't believe I have them rivaled. No. How's the unrest down here? War exhaustion. What? Oh, this is not my vassal. This is, uh... Oh, Ethiopia has war exhaustion. How, why do you have war exhaustion, Ethiopia? Huh. <clears throat> well... We're going to start marching home. Bunch of truces that don't actually exist just expired. Very nice. Look at that. We can actually check, take up pretty damn cheap. But... I want to get this army home and go fight Portugal. I know it's going to cost a lot to core. I hate how this army is marching together and suffering attrition, but... It's just such a pain in the butt to micro them and spread them all out. This looks like a relatively good place to go. I, I do want to take over the colonists. I think I've said that a few times already. How are we doing on claims on Portugal? We can get one. What about Castile? Okay. Need to get power projection back, though. So maybe I should just save some admin points and conquer um, land from Ottomans. How long on the truce with the Ottomans? A long time. What about embargoes? Do we have all of those in place? 
our embargoes on others. We're not embargoing France. Well, we should obviously embargo France. They've got trade power in our capital node. Brilliant. That's what I wanted. I wanted to suffer attrition. <clears throat> Alright, so if we attack Portugal, who do we fight? We fight France. And Castile. If we attack Castile, we fight Naples and Portugal. So it sounds like that's the way that we go. Bohemia would actually join us in this war. Might as well. Um, I mean, it'd be better if... Maybe we call in Bo Bohemia against... Portugal, and then that way... I could do it either way. Naples... I mean, if we wanted to fight France, we could make Bohemia fight them. That is a good way to probably even the odds. Oh, crap. I, uh... I forgot about that, and I accidentally converted the religious center. Whoops. Well, when it's that easy, it doesn't really deserve to exist, does it? Darn it. Claims keep fabricating, uh, dying on him. Well, I don't need a one on Biera or Braganza, because I know I'm not going to take those. Portugal is, uh... If they get less than 100%, we'll need to attack. He probably has a bunch of provinces all over the world. Yep, that one counts. You have, like, Bermuda? No, England took Bermuda. Okay. Come on. These claims are so useless. They expire so freaking fast. Well, I have not enough admin to take much, really, so I guess I could just declare the war now. I'd like to have full claims, but there's just no way that I can do everything. So, yeah, we're going to make it a war against France as well. We're going to co-belligerent. Um, Portugal will bring in just France as extra. So we'll do that. And we'll make it over, like... Benka? Of course I did that. I, I, I seem to do that a lot when I first re reload the game. I forget about the opportunity for free sieges. Yeah, we don't want to be protecting trade out there. Not while we're at war with France. We have an excellent naval, like, morale advantage, but... I think I'm going to lose a lot of ships here. Eleven heavies. Unless we're able to somehow swarm him. We have 121 ships. Maybe, maybe with morale we can... We lost two ships, we killed one heavy. That actually worked out pretty well. Alright, so we're at war with France. We've got Bohemia on our side with their crazy 6-4 general. This is going to be a fun war. Roughly equal. They have more cav. They have... I have way more artillery, as per usual. They have uh, slightly more infantry. Ideally, we want to get the war goal first. And that 60 stack is going to come down here. You got a 4 2 general versus my 4 4. If I let him engage me in the plains with his 60,000, I'm just going to lose due to uh, just the relative strength of the army. 
He's got a 50 stack over there as well. I'm going to head over to the east. Hey, free stability is always nice. Because if we can, if we need to fight him here, I'd rather fight him here and then have the ability to retreat to the mountains. Depends on where this 50 stack's gonna go, but... We've also got mountains here that we can retreat to. He'll be there on the 27th. I can't beat there that fast. Fourth. First. That's not exactly where I wanted to fight. Is this our best general? It's our only general. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh, 2-6. My gosh. A 2-6, that is so sexy. I mean, fire value is important, but a 2-6, you can't pass that up. Yeah, still, the vast majority of damage is being done in that phase. Seven versus a seven. Nine in the fire. We're actually losing pretty hard, though. 6.8 morale, that's a lot. We have, we do have enough morale? No, we do not, actually. We don't even have enough morale to control the retreat. Wow. Well, just retreat in that general direction, if you don't mind. Or not. Oh god, he could squish me so easily right now. You've got to be kidding me. He's going to do it. He's just going to squish it. Wow. So much for the 2-6 being really, really good, huh? Nope, just squished. Just like that. Damn. Well, suddenly this war got a little bit more interesting. Here I was trying to get there. He was fast. Damn. He was very quick. I suppose we're going to have to train more troops then, eh? Run out of manpower at this rate. At least we don't have to reinforce. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, right? Kill it. Come on, kill it in time. One, two. Nope, we weren't fast enough. Still, I killed way more than I lost, so it was worth the risk. Now he's going to gauge me in the mountains. We got our 4-4. Four, four. Perhaps the 4-4 four, four is superior. I'm not... I mean, I would have thought that the shock value was, was going to be worth a lot more, but it clearly didn't work well. We get a discipline? Awesome. I mean, morale would have been nice too, but... Should be able to hold out here. Our right, cannons in the front row now. And our morale is still within controlled retreat range. But I think we're going to lose now that we've got a can couple cannons in the front line. So we're going to back off and control the retreat to these mountains. I have faith. I like choosing fun, fun fights. I think it's more fun to bite off one you can ch chew. Cleansing the heresy against Sue now? Makarai. Is that like down here somewhere? I forget where that is. France got distracted by the Bohemians, and now he's being a stupidy, stupidy head. And sending in a two stack of artillery through my territory. It's not very smart.
Okay. Um. You're letting him attack you in the mountains with a negative three penalty. Come on, dude. You gotta reinforce that in time. Reinforce in time. Oof, that was close. Now you should be able to pull that out. I hope so, with your 6-4 against a negative 3 penalty? My gosh. France, 9-8, 9, 9, 9, 8. Alright, um... We got a new 18 stack. There's another, like the cannons, I don't think are complete yet. I believe we lost that fight. We managed to get um, Savoy occupied. That's definitely what drew France away. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll uh, see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.